Hello and welcome to today's Cosmic Connection where we're going to look at today's planetary movements and see how their energies and influences may guide us through the day. Today we're looking at Sunday, September 17th, 2023. Today the skies are nice and quiet, giving us a much needed energetic break that will allow us to process the week that has passed and get ready for the week to come. The only aspect we see today is the moon in void of course between Libra and Scorpio, squaring with Pluto in void of course between Capricorn and Aquarius. This challenging square, uninfluenced by the zodiac, is going to allow us some clarity at the end of what has been a very opening and empowering week. The moon is the representation of our inner self, our emotional self, our intuitive self, and guides us to work with the cycles of our life, knowing that there will be phases of growth and phases of release and phases of rest. Currently, the moon is slowly, slowly growing after the opening of her newest lunar cycle. Whilst in void of course, the moon stands in her raw power her powers of emotional intelligence and the energy held in feelings is amplified, allowing us to just know things. As she connects with Pluto, the planet of transformation, of the processes of death and rebirth, the cycles we move through and the acceptance of continuous change, she is asking us to change, to transform, to see our raw transformative power for what it is. The moon and Pluto have been connecting their raw powers for months now as Pluto sits in retrograde on the boundary between Aquarius and Capricorn, waiting to make its collective influence, influential shift into Aquarius. These continued connections of raw inner power of our being and the ability to transform are really going to push us into our transformative power, allowing us to see the power our transformative self has to transform our inner self. So our transformative self, our inner self. We have learned that change is the only constant, that energy is continually changing and shifting. Now we are learning the power that change and transformation truly have on ourself and the ways we feel about ourselves, and the ways we understand ourselves. This challenging square is asking us yet again to step into the flow of our own transformations. To know that it will be all to know that it will all transform into exactly where we need to be. We're going to transform to exactly where we need to go. And if for some reason we end up off course in somewhere we don't want to be, it is also reminding us that we have the ability to change things at any time. We can start anew at any time. We can rebirth ourselves at any time. This connection between our inner selves and the cycles we roll through is really allowing us to open up to our power in the transformative process, allowing us to empower and work with our changes as they come, stepping into the energy of transformation. For when we embrace our changing self, our powers of transformation, we finally understand that this whole time, the only thing standing in our path was our self. This square aspect is asking us if we are willing to accept our ever-changing self and know that we will continue to transform and grow, or if we want to continue to stand in our own path. As the moon continues to move through our skies, she enters Scorpio, the fixed water sign. Fixed signs are about taking the things we have initiated and fixing them into our routines, habits, and energies, allowing us to integrate the things we have learned into our actions and how we turn up. Scorpio is a very deeply emotional sign that is a highly protective of its emotional waters. It understands the importance that emotions have and embraces the, these emotions, allowing them to move through their being. 
the fixing aspect of this sign does mean that a fixation on our emotions can arise. But this fixation is a sign that we need to dig deep into our emotions and see where the, these emotional fixations arise from. This deeply emotional lunar energy is really going to give us is really going to get us in our feelings, allowing us to process the things we have moved through on an emotional level. Emotions are energy in motion. Scorpio teaches us the importance of allowing these emotions to flow, allowing us to flow through our emotions and letting them pass. For some, this can feel very draining, but know that this drain of emotions is essential to avoid them building up within our energy fields allowing us a chance to get in touch with our emotional selves and fix any blockages or depletions that may be in need, giving us an opportunity to acknowledge and balance our emotional self. The perfect energy to end this very healing and transformative week where we have stepped into a new cycle, open to the changes we need to make in order to learn and grow, empowered and inspired by the goals and intentions we have set, empowered by the connections we have made with ourselves and the understanding that has grown, aiding us in adjusting and moving in alignment with ourselves on all levels of being, aiding us in grounding in our being, knowing we are ever changing and ever capable, bringing us into the energy of love, expansion, and abundance. A perfect ending to another perfectly energetic week and a great opening for this new lunar cycle. Until tomorrow, goodbye my friends.